Greeting gentlemen and ladies. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how to transform 2D into a 3D character. We are going to be taking a plain old image and putting it into Hyperhuman's Rodin where we can turn it into a 3D model, export it into our game, rig it up, give it some animation, all in about 10 minutes. It's going to be super fun and easy. So I am going to be using Leonardo AI for their real-time generation feature. I've talked about this on my channel before. It's great because you can basically dial around these sliders and look for a different art style that you like and when you find a sort of art style that you like you can tweak the sliders around and then when you find an art style you like no matter how crazy what you can then do is hit random seed and you can get more of that same art style you might adjust something like you know the color or the character or whatever but you can still basically stay within that sort of art style not that i want to use this particular art style but that's the whole idea when you're creating a game or a movie or whatever you kind of want those consistent characters so leonardo ai links and all links for everything i'm going to be using by the way in the description of this video and i've already come up with a character idea that i like that i want to use in this video and that is this sort of like armored cat i think he's super cool looking uh, but what you may notice is he's got a tail Actually, he's got two. Two is too many. Two is too many tails for a cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this little guy here. This is the upscaled version. So basically, I found him here, upscaled him, so <clears throat> that made a high-resolution version of this starting image. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit in Canvas. And this is a handy trick that you may find yourself using if you are using Leonardo AI and you run into little issues like that. What we can do is just use that lasso tool and kind of color in that area roughly where we uh where we're not too happy with our with our situation and all i've done here is i've typed in <clears throat> plain background so i'm going to click, click generate on that and usually when you're doing something like this you want to add something in place of so i wouldn't say erase tail that wouldn't work but as you can see i put in plain background and it's figured out to get rid of that tail and now i've actually got something that i can use so i'm going to go ahead and download this character and uh, now I'm over here in Hyperhumans Rodin where we're going to turn that image into a 3D model so I'm just going to go ahead and click the plus icon I'm going to look for my uh, guy here and I'm going to go ahead and click on generate okay and there we have the preview model that's the low res preview I'm also going to use this TA pose option to try to get the character into an A or a T pose there we go that's pretty good that's a crazy big tail but you know what that's what the art shows Click confirm on this and we will generate the higher resolution model and here we have our higher resolution model that's smoothed out quite a bit as you can see those polygons are looking quite clean it's got some nice little details around the pointy little whisker parts uh, now it's time to generate the texture I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the reference strength all the way because I want it to actually be as close to that source image as I can <laughs> and there we go that actually looks quite good um, yeah let's let's grab that I'm gonna confirm that and then we're gonna grab the FBX and the 4k resolution textures they make a big difference and i'm just going to grab the pbr and uh, let's head over into the next step okay now we head on over into blender and some of you might groan at this point some of you might be happy but this is the fastest way i have found in order to rig up a humanoid character so we're going to import our fbx model like so i'm going to actually bring his feet up to ground level there and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Auto Rig Pro. Links in description below for all of the platforms used for this video, of course. Auto Rig Pro, we're going to select our model and we're going to go down to Auto Rig Pro Smart, get selected objects, full body, OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add that neck location and we're going to add the chin and we're going to add the shoulders and we're going to add the wrists and we're going to add the spine and we're going to add the ankles right in like so and if we're using unreal engine like i am here today we're going to select the unreal ue5 manny quinn and i'm actually going to remove the fingers here i don't feel like doing the fingers so i'm just going to go ahead and be happy with that the hands will move as a single unit that's totally fine uh let's see and now at this point what we're going to do is we are going to go match to rig and we're going to head on over to the skin section heat maps is good over here and we're going to switch over into object mode and then select the rig and then the character mesh nope sorry the reverse of that character mesh and then rig and uh, that is how quick and easy it was to rig a character now what we're going to do is we're going to go to 
auto rig export export fbx we're going to find a place to export and we're going to choose the unreal engine humanoid etc everything else is good as default and we'll just give our cat guy a name cat guy rigged and auto rig and export let's head over into unreal okay back into unreal we right click somewhere import into game and we look for our cat guy cat guy cat guy where is cat guy there's cat guy uh, we are going to select the a mannequin let's say right down what's it called sk mannequin that's the one we want for our character go ahead and click on import and so to start we're going to have this untextured cat guy now in our game so what we're going to want to do next is just grab the textures that were also exported by hyperhumans rodin and we're just going to drag those in and we're going to quickly create a new material right click somewhere click material cat guy mat I'm going to open up that material and for this part we're just going to assign our materials texture diffuse goes into base color then we're going to grab texture metallic put that into metallic texture normal goes to uh, normal yeah that's right you got it normal goes to normal and roughness goes to a rough nest now let's open up our cat guy rig skeletal mesh and simply assign that material to our cat guy like so there we go oh cat guy he's looking so good check him out back in game yep all textured up that looks pretty darn sharp let's have a closer look here right so you guys can appreciate the material work which i think is pretty decent of course it's got its limitations to certain types of characters and styles but if your game is of the type of style that would you know be okay with a little bit more cartoony a little bit more stylized it's sharp it looks pretty good okay the last part super simple uh, you guys are probably familiar with the import feature or content pack, that uh, third person or top down, whatever the case may be. If you use that, you get the uh, BP third person character. I've made a copy of this just called Mine BP Character. So uh, all you need to do now is swap out that skeletal mesh for your, your version of Cat Guy. And Cat Guy should now be rigged up and ready to go because the bones match the Unreal Engine default skeleton so you can see that animation already works. Ho oh, ho ho, and there we have it! Cat Guy walking around on the surface of Mars like a good Cat Guy would, should, and could. He can run, he can jump. So let's take a look at again where we started and where we got to. Here's our original starting source art. And here is our Cat Guy on the surface of Mars all animated up. I think that came out pretty good. Um, yeah, I'd be pretty happy with this in a certain type of game. Here's a look at some of the other models I've been generating with Hyperhumans Rodin. By the way, the guys, links for all of these applications are in the description of this video. Some of them have referral links. Some of the referral links even in, uh, install bonus sign-up credits and that sort of thing uh, and help support this, this channel. So uh, definitely use those links if you want to support this channel and even get some bonus. I uh, very much appreciate your guys' support. 2,860 of you have subscribed. You guys are absolute rock stars. And also, if you guys want to get a more in-depth rigging tutorial, also a bunch of other Unreal Engine uh, technical tutorials, you can check out my other channel, Werewolven. I'll link that in the description below. Okay, see you guys.